Uh, we've got a lot to cover, so buckle your seat belts, right? Get ready to go. And we're gonna dig right into it. People ask me all the time what my vision is. I thought instead of telling you that I would just show you. Let's take a look at this video. Almost four years ago in November, we got into real estate and our plan was right, but our lender was wrong. Found ourselves a million and a half dollars in debt and... And a hundred thousand in... In credit in cards. Credit card debts. And all of our loans were interest only. All of our properties were uh, vacation rentals. So we didn't have the money to pay people to clean them. So we were out taking care of those ourselves all the time. And we were running ragged. We were exhausted. And one day I saw um, Gary on Sid Roth. And uh, I listened to what he had to say. It was interesting. It was different than what I'd heard. I hadn't heard that before. And so I told Alina about it. And uh, we got the some the of books. the books and, and started listening. When I <laughs> say we started listening, we all we could afford was a little a Bluetooth speaker. And we put it in the homes we were cleaning. And we would crank it up. And she'd be in one room, I'd be in another room. And, mm -hmm. and we were we listening listen constantly to the All teaching. the time. Yeah, and then, you know, we decided to sow a seed. And yep. uh, we wanted to refinance the homes. I had gone through at least 40 banks. I'd called everybody I could. We could not get a, a loan. We, we just couldn't. And, mm -hmm. and so we would go across, I'd find somebody and they would say, okay, oh, well, we can take care of you. And I'd waste two, three months working with them and nothing. Yeah, so we were uh, praying and, and then suddenly I saw like a, a, a vision of something like a, like a number one, like a, a new beginning, like, and I, I was like, confused a little bit about it. I didn't understand, you know, what the Lord was trying to show me. And then uh, I told David, you know, this is what I saw. So maybe the Lord is saying, you know, we need to go to a first bank or, you know, like something that starts with first or has a begin, you know, like right. a new beginning in it. Or he started, you know, like trying with those banks and more banks and then the lord impressed on me to go to a small bank you need to go find a small bank not a big one so i did and went to this bank and the guy was totally different he sat there and just listened to our story he didn't care so much about the credit history and stuff he just listened to what we had to say mm -hmm. this was after we had been listening to gary's stuff and and we started um we became uh, inner circle partners sewed into that and we were um, we just believed the Lord was going to come up with a solution. It's it's kind of interesting because I remember hearing one of Gary's um, uh, a story from somebody else where um, somebody had faith for a vacuum cleaner, and that's all they had faith for. And Gary said, "Have faith for what you have can have faith for." Well, our situation was different. We had to have <laughs> faith for not only this loan, but we had two properties that we had to sell. We were under on one property, so we had to sell both properties, but in the right order because one had to sell first before the other, so we'd have enough money from the one to, to pay cover, for the yeah. other. And we owed 10,000 extra on one property, and we happened to have made 10,000 on the other. And the week after we sold, we had a contract on one house. A couple days later, we had a contract on the next house. In the right order. In the right order. They closed back to back within a couple of days, and the next month we had the loan. So we went from from working every single morning till, till night, mm -hmm. every day, dog tired, to literally in, in February, um, after the loan closed, we woke up one morning and we looked at each other and we're like, what do we do today? Because yeah. we were so used to going out, cleaning all the time and working and working and working. And it was like, right. what do we do? So for a couple, <laughs> couple of months, we were like, okay, Lord, what's next? Because- right. We kept listening and, you know, learning more and mm -hmm. about the kingdom and how yeah, it constantly. operates. And so now we're almost debt free and the Lord has taught us, you know, also how to turn, you know, like uh, the properties that we're buying, you know, like with a mortgage, how to buy them free and clear, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so he's been giving us more and more ideas and now we're managing lots of properties for uh, other people, you know, like Airbnbs and, and stuff like that. And 
even our lender, you know, last last month, you know, he he sent us to Florida so we can, uh, you know, get him a property and turn it into a vacation rental. The same one that gave yeah. us the original loan. Yeah, he so. called us up when we were working on one in Kentucky and he said, um, he said, would you guys be willing to go do a property for us in Florida? And I was just stunned. I was like, <laughs> yeah, is this really happening? And then we did and it, and it's interesting because um, in that process, uh, we didn't know anybody out there, no contractors, no one, but we just believed that wherever the Lord sends us, he'll open the doors and he did. And we flipped that property faster than we had any other property. We did it in six weeks yeah. and it was a disaster. And yeah. we flipped it and now um, like a week after we had it listed, he's already, uh, he's already making over 60,000 in rents. And it's just, it's amazing what God's doing. So I grew up in church. Mm -hmm. Link came to the Lord later in life, but I, mean, I, I grew up in church and I was never taught this we stuff. We never heard anything like yeah. that. It was so different, you know, but it works. It, it was like works. half of half of what the Bible teaches was missing. Yeah. And when we came here, it's like all these questions I had, all mm -hmm. these thoughts and, and Gary just, went through the Bible and nailed every one of them for yeah, us. It was really nice. There's hope, you know, exactly. no matter how hopeless the situation looks, because we were going to be homeless, really. We, were no, we didn't know what we were going to do. To lose our, our house and, and we didn't know what to do. You know, we were going to lose everything. And, you know, just learning how things operate, you know, changed <laughs> everything for us. So we're so grateful for this ministry. What's my vision? You just saw it. That fuels me. That's my passion. To see people's lives change. They were ragged and exhausted, they said. But they listened constantly. It's interesting that if I hear stories, you'll hear this many times, we listened constantly. We listened constantly. We kept changing our mindset, allowing the spirit of God to work with us. And they end up having these great stories because they've allowed the word of God to transform their expectation and their thinking. And it's so, so incredible. My passion has always been to tell people about the kingdom. When we decided to talk about doing television, they asked us, why do you want to do television? And after I've seen some Christian broadcasts, I asked myself the same thing. <laughs> But uh, I told him, I said, one thing, I want to tell stories. I want people to see the kingdom. I want them to see it's real. And I want to tell them how to duplicate what they've seen. 